Okay, so here's your torn out machine with a boogered up lock. And so this one's definitely got problems. You can see it's offset. You can, you can uh, access this if you shave the key. Not this one. I've already tried to shave the key, so I'm just going to have to grind it off. My trusty dusty grinder. Some safety glasses, some cotton to stick in my ears, and I just grind my glues away. Uh, we're just going to grind the outside edge off basically, um, and then we'll pop it up. And then once we get that ground off, we're going to we'll just pop it up and I'll take it off. Of course, you have to lo loosen these screws here, and there may be one screw in there as well, but we'll. I'll soon find out. Okay, grind my glues away. Well, that's kind of what it's looking like right now. So what I try to do is see if I can get it apart from here. If I don't, I'm going to have to cut close to the edge here. Once I get the top ridge of this off, then I can pop this up. They actually have a special drill. It's a cylindrical drill. Basically, it's a cylindrical drill that drills right around the edge here and drills those pins out. But, you know, this is what I'm stuck with right now. Okay, so there's a little disclaimer for you, and uh, you know, I only had to do that because we had the key, but somebody stuck a screwdriver in there and jammed it, so we had to grind it off. Okay, there it is. So basically, once you get the outside skirt kind of grinded off, you just stick this under and you got it going. And so luckily, we didn't have a bolt inside here. Sometimes there's a bolt inside there, then you'd have to take that off and get it. Get a long socket in there, take that bolt off, but we don't have a bolt in there on this one. So now I get to take it apart and see why it's not heating. Okay, inline cleanse. So, let's see, we take a look at this igniter. Looks like the igniter's in good shape. Looks like the burner's in good shape. And so what I normally do is I set my meter on continuity. I check these coils. It's usually the first thing I do. Now there is a thermal fuse in the back of this. I've already checked the thermal fuse and it's good. This one has a slight problem here. You can see it's basically kind of corroding right there. Not a big deal, but uh, might grab something and pull it. Um, anyway, that probably should be replaced. Got a clear vent here. So next, I just have to check these with a meter. Also check the Igniter with a meter. Uh, check the flame sensor for continuity. If these are all good, then there's a problem with the timer, but I'm kind of doubting it. I'm thinking one of these coils is bad or that flame sensor. Okay, so we got continuity on all these coils. These coils are good. We have continuity on the igniter and we have continuity on the flame sensor. Occasionally these things will go intermittent. What I have to do is put some coins in, fire it up, and see what it does. And we'll go from there. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm not making this video so that you can figure out how to pop these open. But if you have a jam block, then there is the solution. And so anyway, I've got some coins in this. I've got the door switch hooked on. And we're going to fire it up and see what it does. Now here, this could be a problem right here. Well, that switch is a little bit loose, but you can see it's on air only. I don't know why they put that on air only. That might be the problem. Simple as that. What do you think?
air only, right. Well, that was kind of an easy fix. I didn't even have to grind that off. I should have just checked that first. Oh, man. That's what I get for taking the landlord's word. You know, the landlord's word. I. It's almost like you got to start clean on each one. Like, no one even tells you anything about it. Then you start it. You start over on the job.